Thank you very much. Um, let's move on to question three then, and it's from Tom Marshall. Thanks. Uh, okay. Will you and your party commit to a nuclear-free Wales? Um, <laughs> Plaid Cymru is opposed to Trident, and we've been very clear on the case of um, opposing nuclear weapons. On the case of nuclear power, that's a little bit more difficult for us. I'll, I'll be honest with you, this has not been a straightforward question for Plaid Cymru. I'm not personally convinced that nuclear power is the answer, and I'm not convinced that it stacks up financially. I would prefer us to take a more of a, uh, a renewables-based uh, approach, and we've got in our manifesto an aim to meet all the electricity needs in as far as we can uh, in Wales that we consume uh, to be met renewably by 2035. Now, that won't be easy to achieve because the subsidy regime has changed. Can we just stick to nuclear before we move on to renewables? Um, because in your manifesto, and you said it's tricky for you, mm. you say we will not support the development of new nuclear power in new locations, mm. which is a brilliant fudge, isn't it? I mean, you're saying, aren't you, that, oh, yes, in Anglesey, because our AM is, is actually Clyde Cymru, so it's a bit awkward for us and we want to save the jobs. Well, Anyone else in Wales? No. It's not a case of because our AM is, is, is local to that area. The, it is a difficult so, yeah. issue on Ennismorn, and the reason is is because there have been 6,000 people employed on fairly decent wages. That Those jobs are, are going to come to uh, an end, and there has been no plan in place to replace those jobs. We've put all our eggs in the nuclear basket, and there was a, a report out just last week which suggested that Wilva Newydd might never go ahead, the finances might never ever stack up. Well, if it doesn't go ahead, what happens to those people on the island who will then be out of work? We have to have an alternative jobs plan, so until and that has to be... Thing. It's not a principled opposition to nuclear, then. It's, it's, it's a pragmatic one. It's a you job have to have a job. Actually, you, can't not ha you can't not have a job. Everybody okay. needs to have a job. So if it's Let's not those jobs, then nuclear. there have to be other Points jobs. Points on nuclear, then. Back to our question. Have you had an answer? Kind of, but not necessarily one that I find wholly satisfying. I mean, I, I, I admire your position on Trident, and I agree completely. I also think we need uh, a principled opposition to uh, nuclear power, and Wales is uniquely placed for a renewables revolution. Um, I agree and with I think, that And I think you agree with me on this, but unfortunately I have concerns about whether everyone in your party is kind of pulling in that direction as well. Right, is, the gentleman behind you. At the end of the month, there's a, a camp to close down Fossil Brand Mine in Merthyr Tidville, the open gas coal mine. I wonder if you commit Plaid Cymru to ending coal and fossil fuels in Wales. We need to move on uh, to beyond our addiction to fossil fuels, and Plaid Cymru is committed to not opening any new open cast coal sites in Wales and to a plan to end in that uh, reliance upon fossil fuels. We also want to make sure that we don't have fracking in, in Wales as well. Can we just pretend for a second that the UK government collectively vote to do away with Trident? Does, does this mean that we're all going to hold our hands up and be neutral? like Holland and Belgium did in the First and Second World Wars, or Ukraine did, it's just not feasible not to have a deterrent. Well, there are more than 100 countries in the world that don't have uh, nuclear weapons, and I think I'd prefer us to join that club than the one we're in. On your point with Trident, However, we are not Ukraine. We are a world superpower. You know, we're one of the, we're one of the biggest armies in the world, well, the strongest armies in the world. It is, it, it is silly of us not to have a nuclear terror. If the United States of America has got it, Russia has got it, we are not a small nation. We are Great Britain. The emphasis being in great. We well, rule that, most of the world. That sounds a bit last century to me, if I'm honest. <laughs> right. Let's take a, a point from the front here. I do find that ridiculous, really, to say that we're a superpower and we're going to invest £185 billion into something that we're never going to use, that is absolutely useless in terms of the future of this country. Right. Far better to take that money and create real jobs. Let's invest it in steel. Let's invest, let's in, invest in, in steel. steel. Let's, let's invest in, 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 in the health service. Okay. 
thank you very much. I'll just take one point here and then I'm going to question the next question. I think that people need to realise that the British Empire is dead. They're no longer... That's all I have to say. There we are. Lovely. Nice and sweet. Well done.